anger. It's either him or you. And courage. It's insane, but I would have did the same thing. A deadly combination for the coyote that came face to face with the hiker in Johnston. No, not one was there. Who, who knows what it could have done to him if he didn't do what he did. Police say a 58-year-old man killed the coyote after it attacked him Friday afternoon. It happened in a wooded area off Belfield Drive. The hiker was bit in the leg but subdued the coyote by pinning him down by his neck. Officials say it suffocated to death. You see a lot of wildlife. I can hear you see a deer go by. Four miles away, a situate man is recovering after a coyote attacked him and his dog Thursday evening. Rhode Island DEM believed the two may be connected and that the coyote had rabies. We don't know this yet. We're trying to confirm it. It'd be great news that this, that this rabid coyote was dead. But we need to confirm that by, by going through this process of, of checking out the bite marks. The two attacks raising concern for residents in the area. He's still vulnerable, but... Yeah, look over your shoulder. Much more aware now. Take a stick with me or something. And raising alarm bells for state officials. In Johnson and Situate, please be aware of your surroundings. If confronted with an aggressive coyote, Mike Healy says to make yourself big and loud. Don't run or turn your back. And don't leave food out for wild animals. It only draws them into your home or your neighbors. We can only complicate things if if... If we do things like feed coyotes or, you know, even unintentionally. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.